is actually the 10th annual Walk for Autism Speaks in Chicago. It's the fourth walk for what was once Team Gabriel's, now Team Gabriel's Horn. We're supporting Gabriel's Horn, which is a foundation dedicated to increasing autism awareness in multicultural communities. And in particular, we are walking for Gabriel and also for Hannah. A lot of people don't know, but if you look around, I bet more people are touched by autism than they know that they're, you know, a coworker or somebody. And we have to find a cure or at least a way to intervene so that people can be the best they can be. We're here for, uh, for a walk, man, for a great cause that honestly, I didn't know too much about. And I think that's what's really great about these things is you, st you touch people who aren't directly connected and it's a really good way to kind of, to get the learning out there and the education and get awareness up, you know? I think it's really important to be a part of uh, educating families early so they can get it tested and get the treatment early instead of later. Uh, in an effort to ha have, have the family be successful and the child be successful as well. I'm walking for autism. And who are you, who are you here walking for? Gabriel. He's entertaining, fun. He's a big food critic. Yeah. So nice every year to come out. The group gets bigger every year and we renew friendships and get to see friends and family. We don't see that often, so it's beautiful. One of the things that I think is available to everyone, or most everyone, is really using social media. I was just reading a post today on Facebook that talked about, you know, if you're on social media, it means that you have a platform. It impacts everyone, so I think social media is a great tool to be able to spread the word. And, and to build on that, I think just realizing even small donations help. It's just really about getting the community involved and providing resources, be it financial, be it verbal or social awareness. I think it's just bringing more people engaged into understanding it as well as helping find a solution. I think that most people think that people with autism are handicapped, which is a fallacy. My experience, especially with Gabriel and other people with autism, is that they're amazing, they're brilliant, they're anything but handicapped. I would definitely agree that they're special. But special in a way that you know they can do things and think about things in ways that you know people like us can't. The first five years of life are the most crucial years of development for any child. It's the time when social emotional relationships and growth begins. Communication begins and attachments and relationships are made. And so for children with autism, this can be the most difficult time. That's why diagnosis should be made as early as possible. In black and Latino populations, children with autism are too often not diagnosed until much later, if at all. And that pushes the children farther behind. At Gabriel's Horn Foundation, we seek to help families close that gap. So we encourage you to talk to your pediatrician at every visit. Participate with developmental screenings, whether you suspect a delay or not. Take advantage of early intervention and get your child the proper treatment and therapy as soon as possible so that your child has a better chance at a successful life. Thank you to the team. Thank you to the people that have walked. Thanks to the people that have contributed. Um, thanks to the folks at Autism Speaks for putting this great event together. Um, you know, we're having a great time. This is our biggest walk team yet. Um, we actually set a goal of having 100 walkers. I think we were just north of 90. So very, very successful year. And it's a beautiful day. So no, we're happy to be out here.